Hi everybody, uh, I'm Matteo and I will tell you something about my GS C experience. Um, my project was about enhancing text features in Draw and the subtitles for who of you who don't know, like Edit Engine is one of the main models under Impress and Draw. As Andre pointed out, pretty complex design, a lot of pain, which I will show briefly a glimpse about. So, another review of what's going to happen in the next three minutes, like I'll just tell you something about myself, tell you what actually the project was about, and then I'll do a couple comments about the experience. So, like, I am a programming aficionado currently employed as a PhD student uh, in your city, and this was my first significant experience with open source, I must say. It was pretty harsh, so that's why I was mentioning this. Alright, so the project presented this year was a proposal that already existed on the GSOC project pages. It actually consists of two main loosely related sub-projects. One was enabling color text background in draw and was completed, and another almost a prototype level, chain text boxes. I will talk briefly about these two in a while. And I worked with, closely with Thorsten Burns and was my intro, so by Frederick. Alright, so the first sub project was about allowing text in draw that could have like a background color on its own. Normally in draw you any text will have like the background that the shape it is in already has. So for example, this text over here could just have orange background. Now, uh, with the changes we have right now, we can have separate text with separate background as a separate feature in itself. The second sub-project, which is in the course, was about allowing a kind of logical chain between text boxes. Suppose you have like a text box with a lot of text. One of the possibilities you can have is to the box to redraw itself automatically to, to feed the whole text. Sometimes in desktop publishing, for instance, you may want the text to go kind of magically somewhere else. So for example, you may want this text, if it is too long, to go in the second box, and if this overflows again to go in the third box. So basically, the result will be to go from here as you get out of the edit mode to this. Now, this doesn't quite happen yet, or it does in certain circumstances right now. <laughs> this is a fake example. <laughs> um, all right. So, hacking draw. So, draw is, shares a lot of code on Impress with Impress. Uh, they're both based on Edit Engine and other few models. And uh, I knew nothing about that. I had uh, hacked a little bit of open office before um, formula editing especially. But getting into even the first sub-project was pretty long. It took for me just three weeks to understand what was going on. And uh, yeah, I must say afterwards, second bullet, things look pretty easy with hindsight. Thing, if anyone had explained me, you know, like, this is how things are interconnected, that would have been trivial, one week work on it. But it wasn't the case. When I got to the second sub-project, I thought I had a lot of experience that I could have used for that, but I was very wrong. Impaid engine is really a beast. Uh, I think I spent, like, maybe two or three weeks only on format doc, which is a 30 lines long method of uh, impedit engine. So overall it was great. Uh, my understanding code skills are much farther from what they were in May. Um, I'm intending to keep working with the LibreOffice community. Hope uh, my actions will follow my intentions. I got two awesome t-shirts, Google and this conference. We got a new feature the first sub-project merging master right now. And I, as I said, I'm planning to, maybe even during this conference, if I'm lucky enough to work with Thorson, to finish the second sub-project. Um, 
a couple of things I'd like to point the attention about is uh, those problems I had, the kind of hindsight triviality that I happen to have, I think it could be fixed in some way. Writer, for example, the Wikimedia, I'm oh, sorry, yes, the Document Foundation Wiki has some high level documentation writer, for instance, and that's super useful. Uh, if Edit Eng or SVX had such high level documentation, things would be much easier. I'm currently working on a tutorial that I hope to finish to document what's happening there in the Google Summer of Code. Also, I, I haven't talked with, about this with anyone so far, I don't know opinions. Impedit Eng is a pretty hacky piece of code overall. Even though it's like, it's a, as far as I understand, it's a rewriting of part of SFX module a few years ago, and it's an improvement itself. But it's still really, really hard to understand when you get there for the first time. That was it. Thank you. Thank you so much.